in this video we are going to see how can we extract the required information from bulk text or open text using chat gpt api with python i am using python as the programming language you can apply the same concept to work in any of the programming language all right so i have already covered few videos on chat gpt and how to use chat gpt api there are many more videos which we are going to do so if you are new to the channel please subscribe to the channel and if you like the content i just request you to hit the like button so first of all let's see what kind of text we have so here right now on my screen you can see the entire text so the first text is the query i am taking the query from the same file if you want you can keep the query into same into a different file and your text into different file so this is the text over which we are applying this query in your case you can get this text from some other source i am right now using the text file to read it you can get it from some api or some of the files or maybe you can iterate over all the files in a folder and then you can combine that text after combining that text you can take only the required information and i have uh, this is the query file so if you want you can use query into separate file and the sample text into separate file so before we go and do everything in code let's go on chat gpt portal and see the output and accordingly we will compare the output with with python code so first i am going on uh, this chat gpt portal all right and from my text i will copy it now let's paste it here so you see it has given us three lines and these lines are properly formatted for csv comma separated values okay now i will go to pycharm i have already created the environment for all the chat gpt scripts if you don't know how to create the environment you will have the link on the top and i will share the link in the description as well this code we have utilized in the previous previous video also if you have not seen the previous video you have the link on the top and i will share the link in description as well these api details are incomplete because api is the secure, secure information when i will run the code i will modify this these lines and from our previous script if you have understood well what we have to change the input as of now so we have to read the text file so here i am just adding the code to uh, read the text file and after reading the text file we are assigning that text file to one variable that variable we are using as the input so you can create separate file for query and separate file for text and these are the parameter that we will require to get our response we have already discussed everything in detail and you can find and you can read these comments so the lines which are starting from hash key those are the comments i will change this to 200 because we are going to get the long data all right so first of all we will see the raw response and then we will write that response into csv file so i will just run this and before i am running i have to change the api keys so i have to hide the code from here all right so code is ready to run so here we have the response now we have to write this response into the csv file and in the end of the video i will show you the entire code on single screen all right so i will paste the code here we are getting the uh, this response this line is not required because we are adding this response line into a variable in our upcoming code okay and this line is also not required if you want want you can keep it so sometimes there are multiple blank lines in the response so we have to remove those blank lines os and i am going to use the same variable file text all right so this is the code to remove blank lines 
I will just change the API keys back before I am running. Okay, and here we are writing the file. So I have printed the text here just for the reference. If you want, you can remove that line. Okay, so uh, to write the file, there are different uh, file writing modes. You can have a look on Python file writing modes or whichever language you are using. In that, there might be different file writing modes. I will go to the folder and this is the file that is generated right now. I will open this file. So you have the data here. So let's get back to the code. I will change the API key and show you the entire code. Alright, so I hope you can see the entire code on the single screen right now and you can practice this code. Hope you like the video and you want to learn more about ChatGPT, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, share this video with your friends that will help my channel a lot. Thank you for your time.